Good morning all, happy Monday, hope you are well. I always say that, but I mean it. Generally, hope you are all well. Um, just to show you my new pad, because I don't need any more, but I saw it's got moons and stars on it, and uh, yeah, that's gonna be useful for something today. If you're anything like me, stationery, moth to a flame, pens, pencils, pads, notebooks, pencil cases, yeah, apart from buying tarot cards and crystals, stationery, that's my thing. Not handbags and shoes, not being one of them, but stationery. Anyway, let's see, this is your espresso tarot reading, no fixed sign, no fixed su su <laughs> subject, um, and you're the questioner, okay, so you're the first card, um, and basically what that means is it's the strongest energy so it might resonate with you most right now right this moment the rest guys is a prediction it picks up on the future energy your blueprints um what's coming up in your destiny um now whilst it's a general if it resonates your guides want you to pick up on something in that um and if you're really really interested one on one um then you can book in for private one to one i do also post on my instagram so just make sure you click favorites on there it click and then you won't miss any posts and i also have my own youtube channel which i'm going to start to do little shorts on there as well okay so basically it's what i won't post on here um just little shorts on um whatever's in my mind that day okay um anyway so here we go let's see what is coming in um for my questioners well the first one which came out was the nine of cups now this is essentially um a wish card guys i feel that if you're not feeling it already um there is going to be a after a time of feeling like you've had to push yourself through all the crap like the seed does in the earth then it then you'll be able to smell the roses because you will be the rose okay you will be the rose with the thorns from the experience um but there's a sense of really good goodness coming in and really picking up on that um a lot of you now this is um botanicals the um plants the flowers all these sorts of things the study of that some of you might be really drawn to that as well or just feel like you need small plants or small life um around where you are right now right this second uh, but the nine of cups is essentially a card of goodness greatness in your position um because it's follows the eight of cups um and the eight of cups is all about the um feeling the anger walking away from something and all these sorts of things and now you're at that place where you've walked to is all that glory okay so hindsight is a wonderful thing you might not know it right this second but ask yourself today because this is a wish card what do you wish for today how do you want to feel what do you want to do you know what accomplishments do you want to achieve um and that's a really really good um card to start with okay so let's see what is coming in to meet you from an outside influence situation and that is universal whoa universal forces at play that's my shuffling there they were face down and let's have a look let's see let us see what is coming in the moon Tell you something, guys, funny times in the air right now, in the space. Planetary alignments, people might be a little bit short with you, people might be just want to retreat. But the moon is essentially a card um, that healing is going to be coming your way, okay? Um, healing in the sense that you see part of their soul, their, what they're made up of, is wrapped around the moon. It's embracing that. I think with the Nine of Cups, maybe you've accepted quite a lot of things, uh, things you can't change. And then what comes in after that, after the acceptance, um, is the moon's energy coming to take away all those woes, all those kind of heavier energies. Um, and then on the next phase, you'll start to feel lighter again, okay? Um, the moon is essentially a card of breathing taking it all in and when, when this comes in for you um it's the universe helping you in that respect as well um i am going to get a clarifier because the moon does take on many different angles oh okay. king of swords maybe you're healing from this energy with, this could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, but ultimately, if that isn't making any sense for you, where you think, no, I'm not healing from anyone, um, the moon and the king of swords 
this would be a beautiful meeting okay somebody could help you find yourself help you help yourself and um, help you with a project that you've been working on or these sorts of things um but it will come out of the kind of when i say like the ashes you know after a time of where you're starting to put yourself first and all these sorts of things the king of swords comes in okay the moonlight doesn't it sound very romantic uh, but it's that's what that's essentially what it's all about it's you know when we heal ourselves when we look at ourselves um as what part what role are we playing in our own pain and we start to change that then the king of wands comes in it doesn't always have to be love it can be it can absolutely be love uh, but it can also be partner in um business friend all these sorts of things i don't feel you know this person right now right this second but once we start to open up like that rose we open ourselves up to more possibilities more energies all these sorts of things okay so you've gone through a lot guys i can see that much future future let's have a look you've got the fool the fool is showing that brand new transition okay that brand new phase um which you can't fully fully go on if you're dealing with um when I say unresolved trauma, that I don't mean that in that dramatic sense. And to say that, you know, if you've got unresolved trauma, then you can't do anything. Because that means 99.9% .9 of people wouldn't do anything. Um, but the full card is saying, you know, if you, just before this, with the moon, with the with the nine of cups, that sense of happiness, the healing, the full card organically, whatever happens, would come in by default anyway. Because you've opened yourself up to so many more opportunities that the full would come in and you would have your opportunities for you to choose this is a good energy it's not like a two of swords energy where it's a choice and you don't know which way to go like think oh, i don't really want to do this i don't want to do this this is like yeah absolutely this is fun this is exciting um and i'm glad i've looked at myself i'm glad i've seen my own uh part that i've been playing in my own rep repetitive loop that i've broken away from okay and whoever this is um this is really quite i want to say the word magical um because i just feel the king of swords is somebody who helps with like i want to say verbally but then on an articulate level on a communication level not on the same as the ones though um definitely not in the same with the ones and with the ten of ones at the bottom of the deck there you pot potentially could have given yourself um all these stresses that you'll look you'll look and, and you'll think what was i worried about what was i worried about um but ultimately a brand new phase is on its way to you with the fall um it's a calculated risk with the fall um but it's it's starting again that's what i want to say and starting again with maybe a new person somebody who comes back in maybe that's why the moon um is coming in with this king of um swords here but ultimately with the nine of cups with you being the nine of cups whatever this is in the middle here you'll be able to receive it with greatness be able to receive it from a rational point not from an anxiety point not from anything else other than um what you've asked for in a sense okay um if you really want to get into your own healing working on your own chakras working on your own balancing system um, and then absolutely absolutely start to do that because you'll start to feel good and you're taking your power back especially if you felt like it's gone elsewhere okay overall clarifier it would be so great to see um where this fall uh, takes us now what i can see here guys um is with the three of swords there is there has been heartbreak deflated energies disappointments all these sorts of things okay so that would be probably the healing with the moon um, that you um are advised to do this is what the universe wants you to do and this doesn't have to be anything that happened five years ago guys or even yesterday it could be something as when you were 21 and you're like say if you're 80 now so there's no time limit um but with that it's releasing it all judgment card a major energy you see how she's allowing to let it go embracing it letting it go to the moon's energy because it leads to this that new destination that new phase whatever you are seeking is seeking you remember um and it's just asking to breathe into it but you're in a good place to do it now don't force yourself to do it if there's something that's been unfair unjust and you're thinking well what the hell um that wouldn't be a good place to go well actually i'm going to try and release it now go through a process go through grieving be angry 
but don't stay there that's the key we are in a mars is retrograde guys and it's a very angry planet sometimes um and you might find yourself in battle um with the letting go the holding on the unfairness the um it will be like a paradox things will be so unfair and you'll think oh my god this is a gripe of mine i'm really going to kind of um focus on this and it's not fair i'm going to talk to people about it and then the next day you're going to be yeah but what can i do about it i'm going to let it go then you might be back into where you were first started so be easy on your soul okay that is your espressos you take care guys we'll see you very soon have a beautiful monday